Deadline reports that a feature film project about Tom Brady is on its way. <laughs> Paul Tomasi and Eric Johnson, the writers behind Disney's The Finest Hours, along with New York Times bestselling author Casey Sherman, are all teaming on the project, along with Boston journalist Dave Wedge, to adapt the film that will chronicle the New England Patriots superstars come from behind win in Super Bowl 51. The movie will also include the team's battle to overcome Deflate Gate from 2014. The writers have contacted several sources inside the Patriots locker room in order to provide a first-hand look at what went on behind the scenes during this past Super Bowl in which the Patriots defeated the Falcons 34-28. A director and release date have not been determined. Dennis, thoughts on a Tom Brady movie, movie centering on his win in Super Bowl 51? I don't know about <laughs> this one. I mean, look, look, I know John Campy is a huge Patriots fan. I know there's a lot of Patriots fans um, across the U.S., but they also are a team that that a lot of people don't like. I, I personally was rooting against them in the Super Bowl. So I just don't see – look, uh, these writers also wrote The Fighter. They wrote Finest Hours. They kind of have this thing where they write about heroes from mm -hmm. Massachusetts. The difference is – this is something where it's still kind of ongoing, where a team is, is not liked by a good portion of the country. So I just don't know how financially successful it's going to be. And also, you know, this deflate gate thing and this fall from grace, Tom Brady was doing just fine. It yeah. wasn't like he was down in the gutter and yeah. he was like poor and he like rose up. I think a more interesting story about Tom Brady is when he got drafted and how yeah how he was the last quarterback being drafted and how he had got chip on his shoulder and playing backup and then his rise you know uh to win the fir his first super bowl against the rams i think that's a much better story than this one where it's like oh we're gonna cry about him sitting in his mansion oh i'm sorry wiping away his tears with money i i don't know uh ken what do you think about this <laughs> Look, here's the thing. If this movie's made, look at my eyes. Mark, this is true. If this movie's made, I'm retiring from the movie tuck industry. Wow. I'm move to Montana, live in a cabin <laughs> where the only form of entertainment I have will be how fast I can burn logs and roast marshmallows. Uh, Dennis, you're so right. This is, uh, look, full disclosure, I'm a Miami Dolphin fan, so I've been crying so since I. 1985. <laughs> you're a Miami Dolphin fan? Let's go hang out and have a beer and cry about Dan Marino. Yeah. Brady is the greatest of all time. He's the GOAT. I hate to admit it. If you're a fan, you should be a fan. He's, he's an excellence of execution and success. But you're right, Dennis. Where, where's the comeback? Where's, where's so sad? Like if this was, if Tom Brady was a plumber, and they plucked him in the in the 14th round of a non-existent draft, and like at the last minute, like Drew Bledsoe fell down, Brady, you're in. Give me the story of the 2001 yeah. Super Bowl team. Um, I love a good sports movie. Don't, I'm a sports fan. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Uh, I love a good sports movie. There's something there. I understand, but it is it. It's of course it's Boston-based journalists wanted. They they all they love that city. They want to talk about it all of the time. Um, I'm gonna stop my rant yet. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna Roka. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my entire <laughs> life. This is the dumbest thing in the world. No, seriously, because a the Falcons blew that game. It doesn't like the Patriots were coming back and the Falcons were fighting so hard. They blew it on so many levels. So it wasn't and same thing with that Seattle Seahawks loss. They blew it on that one down on that one yard line. So there's no like kind of poetic thing to explore. Dennis is right. Ken is right. That 2001 team. That's the one you profile. I actually cheered for the Patriots against the yeah, Rams yeah, yeah. because they were an yeah. underdog and because the Rams were the greatest show on turf. You thought there was no way these this pluck this plucky Patriots team was going to be able to do it, and then they became complete arrogant jerks. And so and so you don't want to see this thing. Plus, don't forget Tom Brady left a pregnant Bridget Moynihan to be with Giselle Bunch. So if you're going to talk about Tom Brady, uh -oh. you better talk about Tom Brady. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So you better get up in here yeah. and do his Uggs commercials, like all that stuff. Like this ain't this ain't no bull crap. Like you got, if you're going to talk about Tom Brady, you need to profile this entire thing. But more realistically, let's look at this. How did Patriots Day do? It didn't do well. And that's why there's a reason. That's a provincial movie about a provincial city, and it wasn't made as an expansive film to cover like all of America getting involved in it. And so, which as was as opposed to Deepwater Horizon, which I thought was something that you couldn't, you know, you didn't have to put into a certain specific city. That worked. I think more people like that movie. So if you're gonna make a, a Boston specific film, I think it's very difficult to do something like this, especially with like you said, Dennis, a guy who's very successful was dating a Brazilian or married to a Brazilian supermodel, and yeah, he's wiping his tears away with 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 with. With Cash. hundreds of dollars of bills, so it's not it's not that kind of underdog story. Do the 2001 story. Plus, 
Who's going to play him? Is it going to be Wahlberg again? Is it going to be Wahlberg again? <laughs> Probably. I'm a, hey, I'm a three Pete, touchdown. Pete, Peter Berg will direct. Wahlberg will, yeah. will, right. will play Brady. Who's yeah. going to play Gronkowski? That's what I want to know. Who's going to play Gronkowski? But so I get why you would do this. It may, you're, hitting, you're hitting while the iron is hot. I don't know if he's the greatest all time. I cannot say that because the defenses, you can't touch quarterbacks now. Back in the 80s, you could destroy quarterbacks with clotheslines. So to me, Montana's still the greatest of all time. Tune in to Sports Talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. So there we go. So that's my opinion. And Perry. You, I cannot, you, I can't believe you got through that whole romance rant without saying something wildly inappropriate. Uh, <laughs> I'm very proud. Thank you. I, I also don't think there's any point in comparing something like this to Patriots Day. I understand that's what these writers are doing. Yeah, they're, sure. You know, they're, I think on dot .com, uh, they refer to them as trying to make movies about the heroes from Massachusetts. And it, it is an interesting little uh, section they've carved out for right. themselves. And, and we're talking about writers who have a, an Academy Award nomination for The Fighter, which... Mm. Yeah, it would bode well for any movie that they sign on to write, but you guys said it. This this is not an interesting story. This is not a dramatic story with stakes, and it might run into a similar problem as Patriots Day just in terms of the real thing being too recent. Then again, there's mm. no there's no timeline presented in an article like this that we don't know if they're gonna if they're gonna write it and shoot it and churn it out within a year or even two. Maybe they're just snatching up the rights to something like this or claiming, you know, that they're gonna do it to make other people back off so they could hold on to it for a little while, mm. you know, really develop it and turn it into something good and you know, who knows? Maybe in the development process they're gonna start writing. And they're going to realize our story isn't here; it's here because that happens a lot when you have to when you have to write and then develop and talk to a producer and, and go mm. through that whole thing. Things change, so I don't know. I like sports movies too. I like football, yeah. but this is not the story I want to see on the big screen. And I most certainly do not want to see Mark Wahlberg in that role. If we ever <laughs> if we ever cover this topic again, and it is that Mark Wahlberg has been cast as Tom Brady. I, I will go and hang out in that cabin with you. You're welcome. I, I do Come enjoy a by. roasting marshmallow, yeah. so okay. Hey, hey, kid, here's your touchdown. Here's your touchdown. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, now we're moving on to buy or sell. Natasha, what do you got? If you're going to talk about Tom Brady, you better talk about Tom Brady. That was the best <laughs> rant ever, Roca. Okay. 